Well, I quit drinking May 5th, 1998. But uh, I got clean and sober March 12th of last year. I did a lot of research. Relapse is not a part of my story, but being hard-headed is. I had intervention for me on March 11th. I was addicted to Adderall. That's, uh, that was my jam this last time. I've been addicted to everything. But this last time was Adderall. That's a drug that makes you addicted to pussy and your dick soft at the same time. Yeah, I'm a genius. Man, I was bad. I was a fucking mess. You can't just tell a drug addict to show up at somebody else's house to hang out because you can't outthink a drug addict. Like, you can't be like, hey, we're all gonna hang out at Uncle Matt's house. It's like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. No way. No way we'd all go to Uncle Matt's house. You're trying to get me into rehab. Fuck you. So you gotta tell a lie to the junkie to get him into his, you guys know this. They gotta come up with some bullshit plan, some lie. This is the lie they told me to get me to my own intervention. They told me for my podcast, at eight o'clock Monday morning, I was gonna interview Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> and I was so high, I believed them. Eight o'clock in the morning, I don't know if you listen to Wu-Tang Clan, but they're not morning people. I don't think RZA's coming from an operation seminar. Ghostface is coming from his 6 a.m. tea time in the valley. I'm in Playa Vista, California. I'm up all night snorting rails of Adderall and smoking weed, coming up with these amazing questions. I'm even gonna ask Capadonna questions. Nobody ever asked him shit. <laughs> Fucking give me Inspector Deck. I'm gonna get deep on these motherfuckers. I walk in, I'm all cracked out. I was up all night. I walk into my podcast room. My producer's there. My girlfriend's there. My sisters from New Jersey are there. My cousins there came up from Texas. My agents there, my business managers there, two of my opening acts are there. And I was so disconnected from reality, I actually thought, wow, everybody is really excited to watch me interview Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> That's how stupid I was high. Then I saw the interventionist and I knew that shit was an intervention. That motherfucker reeked interventionist. Once you do meth, you never really lose that look. Baggy fucking jeans, skateboard sneakers, ripped shirt. He had tattoos of pit bulls on his neck. He's wearing sunglasses inside my house. He had no teeth. He was bald and had a swastika tattooed to the top of his head that he was having removed, but not fast enough. <laughs> this guy looked so mangy when he took me to detox. This is true. They let him inside and thanked me and closed the door. And I'm standing there on a fucking porch in the middle of nowhere, like, keep an eye on him, he's got some stories. And I start running through the fucking woods. <laughs> then I realized I don't know where the hell I was, so I went back to the fucking detox. Oh my God, I'm so glad I'm sober. Oh, it's the best. 